Hello and welcome to this gentle back bending, heart opening sequence. My name is Amanda, and I'm so happy to have you joining me for this practice today. Get into a comfortable seat on your mat and deepen your breathing. Notice how your body's feeling now. Go ahead and put your hands out to either side of your body. Stretch your neck to one side. And tilt your head to the other side towards your shoulder. Continuing to breathe more and more deeply. You can roll your head to one side and then to the other. Loosening up your neck and your shoulders. Give your shoulders a few rolls backwards. Remember to keep breathing. Ground your sit bones into the earth beneath you, feeling the support. Change directions. Beautiful. Go ahead and stretch your arms up overhead as if you're waking up in the morning. Grab one elbow, stretch the tricep. And your opposite elbow, stretching the tricep on the other side. We'll start some seated cat cow to start to stretch your spine. With your hands on your knees, round your back. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Go ahead and make any movements that feel good to you, incorporating this seated cat cow. You might want to take some circles around. Going one way and then the other. Or you might want to keep it simple. Inhaling to open up and exhaling to round. Stand up gently and at your own pace, come to the top of your mat. We're going to come into Tadasana, mountain pose. Plant your feet firmly on your mat, your pelvis, your knees, your ankles are stacked, your shoulders are stacked above. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands. Halfway lift. Exhale, move through plank. and Lower down onto your belly. Inhale, a gentle cobra to start. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up through plank to our first downward dog. Start to open up the muscles of your legs 
by raising and lowering each heel one by one. When you're ready, walk your way up the mat or hop up the mat back into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up, slight back bend. Exhale, your hands to heart. Beautiful. Breathe. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, move through plank. Lower down onto your belly. This time, uh, opening up a little more in cobra. Exhale, lower. Move back into downward facing dog. Maybe finding some stillness this time or pedaling it out again if that feels good. Maybe this time you hop up to the top of your mat to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, arms up through a slight back bend. Hands to heart center again. Take a deep breath. You're getting your body warmed up for this practice. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, move through plank once again onto your belly, raising yourself up into a deeper cobra. Lower down, move back into downward dog. Hips up high, tailbone towards the sky. And find your way back up to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, lower, and rise up strong. Slight back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart. Go ahead and come down onto your mat. Pet your cat or whatever pet you have, (laughs) if they're hanging out with you like mine is. Come back into that tabletop position. We'll take some more cat cows from here. Inhaling to raise up, lowering the belly. Exhale, round the spine, head down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round down. Wake up your spine here any way you need to. A few more rounds and open up your knees, extend your arms forward, move your head down to your mat for extended child's pose. Breathe deeply here, sinking into your mat. Letting your hips fall heavily.
finding stillness or moving your arms from side to side open up the shoulders from here move forward onto your belly extending your arms out to either side I'm gonna stretch the shoulders open up the chest Take your left leg, move it over to the other side of your body. Opening up through your right shoulder and chest. Your right ear is touching the ground. Come on through the center to the other side, lifting the right leg, moving it over, finding a stretch in your left shoulder and chest with your left ear to the ground. Breathe into this deep stretch for your shoulders. Come back onto your belly, move back into a tabletop position, extend the knees out wide, plant the palms, raise your right arm up, on an exhale, thread the needle, lowering down onto your right ear, you can bring your other hand around, creating a bind on your hip crease for a deeper opening. Come back up. Inhale, raise the left arm up. And bring your left arm through, thread the needle. Raising your right arm taking a bind if that feels good on your left hip. Don't forget to breathe. Come out of thread the needle. Slowly turn your body around. Come to lie on your back with your knees bent. We're moving into bridge pose. So bring your heels close to your booty. Your arms can lie flat on either side of your body. Inhale, start to lift your hip points up to the sky, keeping your chin lifted, your chest moves towards your chin. You can bring your shoulders underneath your body, interlacing your fingers. And come down slowly on an exhale. We'll go one more time into bridge. Inhale, raise your hip points up. Chin towards the sky, chest towards the chin. Interlacing your fingers underneath your body. And imagine a block between your knees to keep your legs in the right place. Good. On an exhale, lower down. Walk your feet out to the edges of your mat. Let your legs fall in. 
towards the center. Maybe you take a big inhale and come into happy baby. Opening up through the hips. Stretch one leg out and then the other if that feels good. Maybe try both legs straight. Rock side to side, massaging the lower back. Go ahead and inhale, roll through your spine. We roll back and forth a few times, another little massage. Roll right on up through your seat, onto your knees, come to the center of your mat to prepare for camel pose. Make sure your knees, your hips, your shoulders, your ears are in line. Come onto your toes if that feels good. Your hips are not sinking back. Place your hands on your lower back. Open up through your chest. You can stay here if that feels good or you can lower down one hand at a time to each of your heels open up through your chest don't forget to breathe to come out place both of your hands on your lower back again breathe we'll move into one more time When you're in camel pose, you can lower down your toes for a deeper stretch, or you can keep them lifted. Take a deep breath in as you come out. Very slowly come down into child's pose, arms draped on either side of your body, rounding out the spine. Notice how you're feeling. Breathe. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Slowly come up. Give yourself a really big hug. Don't hold back. Squeeze. Thank yourself, thank your body for being willing to open up today. Your arms and your hands are an extension of your heart. So go ahead and give them a little massage. Think of what they've done for you. How they're an extension of your compassion and how they can also reach out to receive. Take a deep breath in and on an exhale, move onto the center of your mat, folding one foot in. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, lower down over your leg. Be sure not to scrunch your shoulders up. Pull them away from your ears. 
You can keep a gentle bend in your knee. Your hands might be on your thigh or your calf or on your foot. And do what feels right for your body now. Coming out of it very slowly, extend the opposite leg, pulling in the other. Inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold on the other side. Remember to place your hands wherever you're getting a good stretch, but not injuring yourself. You might notice a difference on both sides. That's very normal. Just notice that. And keep breathing. Stretching through your hamstring. Your opposite hip. Another deep breath in. And as you exhale, you can slowly start to move out of this forward fold. Gently and lovingly come down to lay on your back. your arms out to either side of your body, the shape of a T. Bending your knees, twist to one side, turning on to your opposite ear for a nice supine twist. Use your core to come out and lower down onto the other side, lowering your knees and turning onto your opposite ear. Still breathing in and breathing out. As you come out of this twist, you're going to move into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Take any last movements that you need. Maybe give yourself a hug, find a happy baby. Then extend one leg and the other. Let your arms fall gently to your sides. Take a deep breath in and a big exhale. <sighs> Let your body sink into your mat into the surface beneath you. Relax the top of your head, your face, your forehead, your eyes, your jaw, your neck and shoulders, your arms, your beautiful heart space, 
your belly, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your shins and your calves, your ankles, the arches of your feet, and each of your toes. Let your whole body sink into the earth beneath you. Taking a few moments here to let your practice and the fruits of your practice wash over you. To fall deeper and deeper into relaxation. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Move your head from side to side. Maybe roll your wrists. And roll onto your side, curling up into a safe little cocoon. When you're ready, you can slowly and gently raise yourself up into easy pose. Thank you so much for taking this time for yourself to open the heart. Thank you for sharing this practice with me. We'll see you again next time. Namaste.